All right, so we're back again, and now we got something cool. We got the Lilacs container gun case. You may have seen it around. There's multiple versions now. And uh, yeah, what do you think about this thing? I really like this gun case. It, does, it did something that no other gun case that I had seen previously has ever done. Mm -hmm. the, the modularity, the amount of storage options you have, and the creative way you've kind of given the given the player like a space mm -hmm. that is that is of their own uh, on a table surface because we've all been to the games where yeah. everyone lays out their stuff and you might have someone's rifle or someone's gun bag you know in your space and remembering you know where your where your items are and not making a mess is really useful and this yeah. bag does that in a way that no one else has yeah absolutely what we aim to do is just make the most compact container gun case out there it's the name container so it contains all of your stuff so you know like you just said when you're at a field there's like maybe a hundred people there the tables are just filled with items but now you got like hey this is my stuff in here it can hold two carbine length rifles up to 880 millimeters um, you can have a bunch of handguns as well there's tons of external storage as well here as you can see we got pockets like this you can slide in your bb's and then you got three large storage that you can put a bunch of uh, M4 type magazines standing up or maybe some SMG long mags stacked uh, horizontally as well. Um, so two on this side and one on this side. Yeah, well, so there's three pouches on this side, yeah. um, two smaller ones. Now, something that you that you mentioned kind of earlier yep. uh, was that you have done several versions of these gun bags thus far. And this being the kind of the third variant yes. um, is, is updated in several ways, maybe a couple that aren't immediately obvious. Yes. So what are some of the ways that this new version of the bag differs from previous models? So we'll go really quick on um, the first model is uh, we have the blue and the gray as well as the black and the gray model here. And that was the first model that sold really well. And we had a few revisions. And then uh, the next generation, our Gen 2, we had the uh, EVIC EMG OEM one, which is a very similar color to this, but more of a EMG blue. And then it has a few upgrades, including the uh, strengthened center uh, zipper area and then now we have the third generation which comes in python and uh mc black um, and along with the smaller smg size ones which are in the same colors plus the old blue gray and the black gray black but the most important in my opinion of the uh improvements for the last two generations is we added a horizontal zipper here like you see on suitcases for airports where it gives it a whole bunch of more vertical space so that when you're packing your guns in your your bag doesn't flex so much and it just rises naturally straight up right so well so one of the things that i think you found that a lot of airsofters were doing is they weren't just keeping one rifle in yep. here or they weren't just keeping this empty and setting it up just as a as a, a play area uh -huh. um you know delineator yeah. they were actually using it as a gun bag like you like you should and they're yes. Because there are Velcro um, straps inside to hold multiple rifles, being being able to keep two of them with that expansion slot at the bottom makes a lot of sense. Yes. Uh, because when you're not using it, mm -hmm. you can zip it closed and not worry about you know that taking up that extra room. But when you need it, it keeps everything flat because these bags have uh, you know kind of a trick up their sleeve in how you carry them as mm -hmm. well. It's not just uh, a single sided bag yes. carrier. This can be worn as a backpack. Yes. So on the bottom here, as you can see. You can open this zipper here and pull out two straps and reconnect them at the bottom here and wear it like a backpack or store them back in there and hold it kind of like suitcase style or yeah. messenger bag style, however you want. There's also a third strap so you can wear it like this. Yeah. But uh, I always recommend as backpack because yeah. this uh, gun case was actually designed primarily with uh, Japan in mind. And you haven't been here for almost a week. You kind of saw how people travel, right? Yeah. On trains, buses. So we wanted to make a gun case or something that didn't seem too tactical. Right. You know, something like this. Something that didn't scream, I'm a gun case. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not carrying guns, you know, airsoft guns in here. Uh, so it's very, you know, we, we added the camouflage patterns for the new ones for people who want to go more, a little more tactical, but the overall design is more of a sporty 
urban feel. So, you know, in countries where you take public transportation of places, you don't want to just be holding that tactical giant black, like gun rifle case, mm -hmm. right? So that was where the main concept of this came from, especially here in Japan, where we take public transportation everywhere, including to airsoft fields. And it helps us kind of travel very comfortably with everything we need all at once. But now in the US, how do you guys usually go to fields? Well, I mean, even though um, we don't really commute uh, on public transportation yep. to airsoft fields necessarily, uh, oftentimes there is a parking lot and a bit of a trek to the True. staging area. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like you just pull your car up and play out of your vehicle, mm -hmm. although that does happen. I'd say more often than not, you'll get to a field location and then still have to walk to the staging area. Okay. So in that sense, a bag like this is still very useful because mm -hmm. you've got to use the backpack straps to carry it to the table. True. And you might have more than just a gun bag. You might have your gear in a separate bag. And so the variety of ways that you can carry this, as well as the variety of things that you can carry in it, yeah. make it a, an excellent, one-stop solution that can carry everything that you need for you know your local game yeah. but it, it's also extremely useful if you have an additional bag if you're going to a milsim event or something where you have more gear th this is great and easy to carry even if you have other equipment to carry um, with you i really like the ad addition of the, uh, the the new camo styles but mm -hmm. it totally does uh, make sense yeah. um, to have something that's a little bit more subtle so definitely Hey, if you guys are interested out there and you need a new gun bag, these guys are really uh, convenient, you know, easy to use. I use two of them. I use the big one on my back and I have the smaller SMG one I carry on the side. So I can not only carry guns, but carry like my food, my water, literally everything in there. Gas cans fit, uh, lipo bags fit, your BBs. Everything that you need from iPro to your gun to batteries fits in there and it's all just like taking out of your car and just walking down there without having to lug giant crates or boxes or whatever it is I usually use. And thanks to the 500 uh, denier construction, you don't have to worry about this not standing the test of time. Exactly. It's, uh, it's very, very robust. So even if you are using it for commuting and travel, uh, it's not going to wear out on you. Yes, definitely check it out. Hey, and uh, check out the EMG version as well because uh, I love the blue. So uh, we'll see you guys next time and thank you for coming by. See you later. ご視聴ありがとうございます。新商品やパーツ組み込み動画はこちら。And if you guys are looking for cool gameplay and entertainment content, don't forget to check out our international channel right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Yay! Yay!